My name is Ulysses Mejias, and I am an associate professor in the Communication Studies Department at the State University of New York, the college at Oswego. Uh, this is actually my third year at NYI, and each year I've had a wonderful experience. In fact, each year I think it's gotten better. And uh, when I came here originally, this was my first time visiting Russia and interacting with Russian students. So I didn't know uh, what I would find, uh, but I was immediately uh, amazed by, you know, the quality of the students, their enthusiasm. Um, I got to experience and interact with students from all over Russia, uh, as well as students from Europe and uh, North America. But um, I think it's my interaction with the students that had has been the most uh, rewarding. Uh, I teach courses on critical internet studies and digital media, and I found my conversations with students to be very rich, uh, very enriching for me, especially uh, as far as allowing me to understand some of what is happening uh, in Russia, how young people here use social media. So that aspect of it has been very rewarding. Um, NYI, I think, is a very special program. It's got an amazing staff um, uh, and amazing administration. I think to put a program like this together requires a lot of uh, skill and patience and uh, knowledge. And so I can't say I've had a single bad experience with this program. Uh, they take care of the faculty. They always uh, make us feel uh, welcome, especially for people like me who have never been in this country. Uh, and even uh, now that it's my third time here, they continue to make sure uh, um, we feel welcome. They continue to make sure we have things to do. And like I said, uh, nothing has ever gone wrong. Uh, in my experience, of course, you know, uh, uh, visiting any foreign country uh, can be a challenge, especially not speaking the language but um, I found this to be a very easy experience as far as someone even from outside not speaking the language. I think there are a lot of concerns about uh, the program for a program like this in terms of people, for instance, from the United States visiting Russia. What's the situation? Is it safe? Um, I think Paris these days might be a more dangerous city than St. Petersburg or even some parts of the United States. St. Petersburg feels like a very safe city, uh, a very easy to navigate uh, city, and of course, it's just a beautiful city. Uh, there are so many things to do. Uh, museums, cultural life, um, social life. Um, uh, it's just very easy to get immersed uh, in the city. And I think for um, United States students, uh, it should be uh, uh, an amazing experience. I know some of our students like to go to English-speaking countries where they perhaps feel a bit safe. They like to go to London or Australia. Uh, I would highly recommend to come to Russia and to come to St. Petersburg. Uh, I think it will open up your horizons in ways that uh, perhaps going to a more comfortable place uh, might not be like. So um, I always encourage my students to come and experience uh, uh, St. Petersburg. I think uh, one of the best things about the program is that they will get to interact with Russian students. Sometimes study abroad programs feel like a little bubble. You travel with a faculty, you interact with your peers, uh, you have some interactions with uh, um, natives, so to speak, here and there. This program is a little bit different in that students from the US interact with Russian students uh, uh, a lot of the time. And uh, while it's not an immersion program in the sense that you're here to learn Russian unless you want to, uh, what's nice about it is that these students in Russia speak fluent English. And so you're able to uh, converse with them, to share experiences with them. You are living with them in dormitories. So from what I've seen, uh, it creates very strong connections. And I think especially in this day and age, 
when perhaps we could say relations between the United States and Russia are a little strained. The media keeps telling us uh, uh, you know, what to think about Russia. I think now more than ever, it is very important for students to establish these connections with their peers here in Russia, to establish uh, um, uh, those intellectual uh, and social connections with students who they will find out are just like them. Uh, who have the same concerns, who share the same interests, who are just as in tune to what's happening in global media as they are. So I think it's a wonderful experience for students from the United States to, to, to have.